Hi everyone, welcome to Star Wave Dragon Felting. Today's video will be showing you how to make these cute little sprout baubles. Super easy to make if you're familiar with needle felting. Make a really unusual little decoration. Looking for something a bit different. So this is what you'll need. You'll need is some green wool for the leaves, a much lighter green for the veins on the back of the sprout to make him look funny, some googly eyes a little bit of black wool for his smile some twine to hang him up from this has got some nice Christmas colours in it red, green and white use whatever colour you want now you can use core wool to make wool um, little wool balls for the base however if you're planning on make a lot of these little sprout baubles then I would recommend buying some polystyrene balls and covering the ball in the wool to make your sprout okay and on that note let's get started okay so take your polystyrene ball and some green felt and we're going to make the front of the sprout it doesn't have to be all covered at this stage so just pop it on your polystyrene ball and then I prefer to use a 38 gauge needle to place the wool onto the ball so just keep poking the wall until it's nice and flat on the polystyrene ball if you notice it's a little bit bald in some areas just add a little bit more wall and continue There we go. And the edges don't need to be neat because they'll be covered up in a bit. And that's the front base of your sprout. For this next bit I'm going to use a thicker piece of wool which will wrap around the ball like so. I'll just use a thicker felting needle just to put the wool into position. This is going to be for your leaves. Leave like an edge there so then the front of your sprout is still visible and just keep poking just wrap that round and then just keep poking the wool into place do making the leaves this way is a lot quicker i find than making individual leaves just tuck all that under there leave that edge there like so, and we'll shape that off once we've felt this down. I'm going to switch down to my 38 gauge needle because then it won't be as many holes in the wall there. So I'll flatten off any lumps or bumps. Just keep rolling the ball. I think you need to just pop a bit more wool on anywhere, just to take a strand and just pop it on, smoothing it out. And it's finally getting there. 
This does take a while, so you do need some patience. Okay, so the next step now is to give it some shape. Okay, so now we're going to shape the leaves around the sprout. So what you need to do is you need to sort of like start tucking the wool underneath the edge here. And then you sort of like need a curve for the leaf. So I'm just going to put two two dints in there and there. Something I forgot to mention, I'm now using a 36 gauge needle because um, I can shape things better with a thicker needle. So just, and then what you want to do is just make a small line down the sprout into the middle there. Just keep short sharp stabs just Shape out the leaf. And yeah, you can see that. Okay, so then the next stage, just uh, let's make another make the leaf here. Depending on the size of your sprout, you can make. Um, four leaves around it or five um, it's entirely up to you no sprouts the same another thing I should mention is I've seen other people's needle felt sprouts the leaves are more open on theirs which makes them look more like lettuces I mean cute lettuces but we're looking for a sprout here which has nice tight leaves around it so just Again, just make little dents there on the edge and just keep stabbing around the ball. And then just continue to shape as many leaves as you want around it until you're pretty much happy with it. Keep folding these edges in here if you need to think you just need to tuck in, in a bit. Keep your sprout leaves nice and tight together. Just neaten out the leaves until you're happy with it. Don't worry too much about that because we'll be adding some wool over it. In the face a bit. Okay, I think that should about do it. Just um, flatten off if it's gone a bit lumpy. And then the next step is we're going to add the veins to the leaves and the back bit here. Just take your lighter shade of green. And then what you want to do is you want to pull it so then you've got like small strips, almost like thread-like. Give it a little twist, um, just make that bit, tiny bit shorter. Okay, then take, just pull it like that, make it sort of thread-like. Take your sprout. And then what you want to do is just Put that in the middle like that. Tilt it into place. Take another strand. So felt that into place. And you've got a small cross. A bit long just pull a little bit off or cut it off just felt the ends into place and 
and then just continue down the leaf, helping the vein in like that. So if you want to keep it simple, you could just leave them like that. But if you want them more to be more intricate, the veins, just pull some more thread and just pop it on like that. Makes it a little more natural. Again, doesn't have to, you don't need any sort of particular pattern. It's a sprout. No sprout is the same. And just do what you fancy with it. If you want it to have several several lines, that's fine. A bit of a fork shape there. A little more interesting and just need to them up until you're happy with it so to make the base of the sprout what we're going to do is take your lighter shade of green and what you want to do is sort of make it into a flat disc not too flat you want to sort of a little bit of a 3d um, shape to it um, around the edges. Just flip it over if it's getting a bit stuck to your belting mat. This is one I bought off Etsy. This mat um, it's just well, it's made up of wool. There's all different kinds of mats you can use. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner. You can use a foam mat. It's fine. Just keep. Turning it over, felting until it's nice and flat. Just move off these edges here a little bit. Uh, this is my 38 gauge needle again. This one's probably my favourite for shaping. Because um, it doesn't leave as many holes in what you're making. Okay, I think that will do. So, whichever side you think is the neatest, just you want it obviously facing up and the unneater side is facing down on the sprout. Okay, so just pop that on and then just simply stab away, just tuck the edges in a little bit if you needed, just make it nice and neat. is the back of your sprout felted on so next is the face so I'm just going to show you a quick alternative to making the eyes if you don't want to use googly eyes or just don't have them so what you do is take a tiny piece of black wool roll it in between your fingers to make a nice little ball just give it a quick poke just to make sure it all goes into place and then just poke your ball into place like so. Actually, it might be easier if I just use a slightly bigger needle. Be careful, because once you've poked the polystyrene ball a bit, it will start to, well, sort of feel it starting to crumble a little. But we're more of it, let's finish now, so that shouldn't need to worry, okay? So, that's it if you just want to make a normal little black eye and then you can add a little white dot in the corner just to give it a bit of shine or 
just leave it as let's assume it is up to you okay but we're going to add some googly eyes to that now so i might just take that off so these ones are adhesive googly eyes Right, so now we need some more black wool. Right, again, same with the veins. You just want to just roll it between your fingers, make a nice little thread. Just obviously a very small one compared to the veins. Just roll it between your fingers and it's nice and thin, like thread-like. So just need to just tuck everything in, neaten everything up. There we go. So just like that when you're happy with it in place just poke your needle in so just keep jabbing so it's nice neat in the sprout Keep poking it if you're not happy. Right, so there he is, one happy little sprout. So, I don't know if you want to use him as like, say, put him on your windowsill or something. You can leave it like that. Otherwise, the next bit is to hang some twine on him and then you can hang him on your Christmas tree. Okay, so next take about 20 centimetres of your twine to use as a hanging on your sprout. So what you want to do is take, I'm going to use a short, small pair of scissors just to cut into the top of the sprout. The polystyrene ball is pretty much um, broken, come apart now, you could say, so it's pretty easy to put in. If you twine, you just want to under, over, like that, and then you want to just make a little knot. So you want to put the end, it's a bit fiddly this, just put the end through the hole there, just a little pull, and then just pull from the bottom, just make sure course the ends of the twine don't come out a little there we go tidy up right okay so take your sprout right and then what you want is a small bottle of glue this is um an acrylic glue only costs me a pound in the pound shop Nozzle of the glue of the glue bottle in the hole. Give it a quick squeeze. Okay, then just take your little twine knots, just poke that into the hole there. You might want to just use something to push it in. These Scissors. I'm planning on getting new ones anyway, so it doesn't matter if they've got glue on them now. There we go. Right. So you can just seal the hole up um, there, just push your fingers together. Alternatively, if you've had quite a big hole, you can just felt a bit of wool over the top there. Just be careful when poking your needle in because the glue will be hard just let the glue dry first obviously and then poke it just be careful though because the glue will be hard and there's your little brussel sprout ready for hanging so i'll just show you a few other examples i've done over the past few months if you want something that looks a little more natural you can blend several greens together to give this um like shading on the leaves just gives it all more natural little look it does take a while to do that, so if you just want to just make quick sprouts, just stick with the one colour. And then if uh, you want to have a little bit of fun with your sprout, um, 
this one I've put a Christmas hat on it. <laughs> it's just a sticker. And um, this was an early sprout that I made, so that's why it looks a little different from the others. Uh, something I forgot to mention is that the polystyrene balls that I've used in this video are about 45 millimeters. Um, it's entirely up to you what size you want, but if you want to really have some fun, then you could make a jumbo sprout. This one I've just felted um, a little party hat on. Um, you could make a really big one, be a fun topper for the toppy Christmas tree. Um, and if you're a bit fed up of making sprouts, um, you could always uh, make a Christmas pudding. A uh, bit more easier to make than the sprouts. Just, uh, the sprouts are more fun though. <laughs> if you want a, a video of how I made the Christmas pudding, just comment. Okay then, and that is my sprout tutorial. This is my first tutorial, so um, any feedback would be appreciated. Um, if you enjoyed what you saw, just um, give us a like and subscribe as well. Um, I'm also thinking of making more videos. I might do more tutorials. Um, I'm thinking about sh making several videos on how I make um, the Dragon Ash from Viva Piñata, if you'd like to see how one of those is made. Um, also, uh, I'm on Instagram, Stat Wave Dragon, if you want to follow me on there. And um, I've also got a TikTok going as well, that is Star Wave Dragon Felting, same as my YouTube channel. Um, that'll just be quick fire tutorials on that. Um, okay, then, so um, as I said, please subscribe and I shall see everyone next time.